Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Brian from One Stop Board Shop. It's Dennis. How you guys doing? So we are here today. We're doing an unboxing, setup, and test video of the new S22. Now when I say new, I really mean batch two new, but it's still new to me. So um, this particular wheel is going to be mine and for the shop. Um, we also have a couple others that we're gonna be selling. You can find them on our website. But super excited for this. I just came off of the EXN, um, so I'm going to be converting from a non-suspension wheel to a suspension wheel. I'm so stoked. So how stoked are you? So stoked. So we're gonna get go ahead and start opening this thing up, and um, we'll tell you a little bit about the wheel, about the specs, uh, about ride style, what, how it you know is different from other wheels, and um, yeah, let's get to it. All right. So for this wheel. Uh, it's a 2200 watt hour wheel. Uh, gets you pretty decent range. It's a 126 volt wheel. It's a 126 volt wheel. Yep. Uh, tire size is 20 inches, although the rim diameter is 14, so you can get different tire options. Anything for motorcycle tires being 80, 90, 14, uh, anything 18 by 3, um, general stuff that you can share with EXNs, uh, Shermans, Masters. Yep. It'll have more clearance because of the open body style and the industrial look uh, versus some of the shells of like on the RS-19 and everything. Um, but as you can see, because it's a 126 volt wheel, uh, this charger right here is beefy as anything. Um, gets you all the juice that you need. Charge time, I believe, is anywhere between four to five hours. With that charger there, I believe you can go all the way up to like 10 amps of charging, which is uh, pretty good. As you can see, it comes stock with a whole bunch of pads and fairings to be able to uh, include and put on your wheel. These come with a little bit of a lift for your feet as well as uh, power pads for your front to, you know, brake and accelerate. Three, All right, ready one. for this? Yep. Hold the box. Yep. One, two. Ah, there it goes. All right, so we're gonna get this thing activated. Um, uh, Dennis has my phone with the, with the King Song app open right now, um, so we can start uh, getting this thing turned on and see, make sure that she's ready to ride. iPhone users, as you can see right there, it is the King Song app that you wanna go ahead and uh, get into. Once we turn on the wheel, it will go ahead and search for your device, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and look it up. This one says KSN S22 and serial number to it. We're gonna connect to his wheel. We're gonna go ahead and get all the permissions. And then it's gonna say automatically that, hey, you know, I found a new version. We're gonna go ahead and update the firmware and it'll go from there, okay? So we're connected to the wheel. As you can hear, it's beeping and it says, all right, cool. I wanna update. It's usually gonna ask you for two different updates depending on what's already on the wheel. Um, one of them's just gonna be, you know, a general firmware update. And then the other one is gonna be for um, the BMS. So uh, there's two different updates that it does on there. One of them is just making sure, you know, uh, uh, any bug fixes for like motor slips or, or the motherboard to you know, function properly is doing itself. And then um, th uh, the second one is the BMS. If, you know, it takes a while, that's okay. It's just gonna sit there. Uh, really, really nice part is that um, on the screen, if you look at it here, it's telling you how much longer you have uh, and it matches up with your phone. It'll tell you 5% here, right? It's an upload, right? Upload 5%. So, so now that updates are done, Brian's gonna go ahead and unlock his vehicle. Cause as you can hear, it's still beeping. Now that he's unlocked it, it is now free. And when you go ahead and lift it up, it is going to self balance. It, now that now that it's got the self balance, um, so we know it's operational and everything is good. Um, a couple things that you guys should know. One is this trolley handle. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's short, but that's because it's a tall wheel. Um, you can use this to kind of walk it around and, um, you know, just like any other trolley handle on uh, any other wheel. My favorite position to do it in is instead of walking it from the front, just make it go in reverse and then start moving it that way. Because, A, people can see the, you know, the light show from the rear that, is, that it offers. And then also it's an easier way to maneuver because trying to walk it like this, it kind of feels a little weird. So I would definitely swap it around and keep it in front that. like Let this. Let me see how that feels. 
Oh yeah, no, he's 100% right. That's, that's, that's the move right there. The next thing that you guys should know, this is a really cool feature. So um, sometimes you'll see the kill switch as a button on the, underneath the handle. This is the kill switch right here. So you pull this back and it kills the motor, all right? So the cool thing about that is that when, now it's bouncing in, when you kill switch here, this act, acts as a handle. So you can actually, you know, kill the motor and then lift it if you need to. So um, if you can see what I just did, the, uh, the headlights are actually adjustable. So you can actually adjust their angle how you want them. One of the next things that we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna um, work on getting the suspension um, proper for, for me as a rider. Um, it's super easy to adjust. Um, these, you know, you just click these, uh, these little turn knobs here. Um, so we're gonna get that going um, to, to, to get it set up for me. We'll also start working on installing the Velcro and pads. Um, and uh, if uh, we think of anything else that we wanna talk about with this wheel, um, then we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so this guy is just a blank to hold the, uh, to you know make sure this top piece doesn't kind of like flap in the wind. So you just press and hold wherever you like it. It really doesn't, it's not even attached to anything. It's just attached to the pad. Um, it's more aesthetic than anything. This one, however, with the adhesive, since there's a lot more space to stick on the side, you want to stick this to the bottom portion. Go like this, line it up some, and then stick. And then now it has some backing. All right, so. We've got our Kingsong S22 unboxed, activated, set up, ready to rock. We're gonna go take this thing for a ride. Um, the only unfortunate thing uh, about this wheel is that as a new rider, it's great because it, it, it locks you in to 12 miles per hour uh, max speed for the first seven miles, but I don't really need that. So I'm just gonna go kill seven miles just to get this thing to unlock to full speed. Um, Past that, we're gonna go take this for a ride. We're gonna adjust the suspension, um, see what you know what what works well for me, um, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited to to get this wheel going. Um, we're we're gonna go have a good time with it. And listen, guys, you know, stay tuned for more content on uh, on this wheel, on on EUCs in general, on all the things we do here at One Stop Board Shop. And um, you know, if you want to come in, demo one, test one out. This one here is gonna be ready ready to rock for anyone who wants to try one out before you buy. Um, and like I said, we'll have a couple here in, uh, for sale, but uh, yeah, we're, we're ready to get out there. So uh, stay tuned for, for more cool content. Stay riding.